As a result of an operation carried out by the main intelligence department of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, the aggregate plant in Volchensk town in Ukraine's Kharkiv region has been cleared of the invading Russian army. The chief intelligence department of the Ministry of Defense announced this in a statement. According to the information, on September 24, the commander of one of the special divisions of the General Intelligence Department, the head of the department, Kirill Bukanova, reported on the successful completion of the operation. The operation was carried out by Stugna, Paragon, Yunger, BDK, and Terror groups of the main intelligence department. As a result of the operation, Russian soldiers have been captured. It should be noted that although the Russian army has been continuously attacking the city of Volchensk for several months now, most of the city is under the control of the Ukrainian army. Representative Matt Cartwright, a Democrat who was among those who met with Zelensky at the Scranton Army Ammunition Plant, said the president had a simple message, thank you. And we need more. The Scranton plant is one of the few facilities in the country to manufacture 155mm artillery shells and has increased production over the past year. Ukraine has already received more than 3 million of them from the U.S. Zelensky said he expressed his gratitude to all the employees at the plant. It is in places like this where you can truly feel that the democratic world can prevail, he wrote on X, thanks to people like these in Ukraine, in America, and in all partner countries who work tirelessly to ensure that life is protected. Zelensky's visit kicked off a busy week in the United States. He will speak at the UN General Assembly annual gathering in New York on Tuesday and Wednesday and then travel to Washington for talks on Thursday with President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, as he seeks to shore up support for Ukraine. So this is how we receive our steel. Every rail car can hold 200,000 pounds of steel. If we bring steel in by truck, our cars will come in with 20 feet long. You said that 400 people work here, but I wanted very much to come here and to thank you. 400 people saved millions of Ukrainians. Because of the result of your work, I'm very thankful. Just from ordinary Ukrainians to you. And what can I say? Thank you so much. You helped us to survive against Putin invasion. And thanks to your families. And God bless, everything will be very good with your families. And with you, God bless America and Slava Ukraini.
Thank you again very much for everything, guys. Thank you.